you know, a lot of people are following Tate. Tate became the most viral person on the Internet. Uh, him and I were speaking uh, when he got out of jail. And, you know, they're now on house arrest, and we're having a conversation uh, about some of the things that's going on. Uh, he went mm-hmm. from, evolved from being a guy that was an atheist as a young guy coming up, yeah. okay? Then he started seeing what the Christian, you know, Christian denomination was doing and what they stood for. Said, These are interesting principles, kind of welcomed it. Then he partially lost respect in the Christian religion, the denomination that started compromising and saying, yeah, we'll accept this, we'll accept that, we'll accept sure. this. What about this? And then he says, the only religion that seems to not break when it comes down to their values as Muslim, and then he went and became a uh, Muslim, and that's In a Muslim said. religion, as much as people in America want to make it, it's a very peaceful thing. You've heard Bill Maher say this before, What Bill says, most Muslims are not terrorists, but Mo- Bill Maher also says, most terrorists are Muslim. Muslims, right? Well, he's not wrong. Lol. Not only is this factually incorrect, because in 2016 Obama dropped three bombs every hour. Naveed Sheikh reports from zero to 2008, Christianity has resulted in 178 million deaths and Muslims only 31 million. William Bloom has said that America has invaded 50 countries since World War II. So stop with the lecture, mate. Not only is that sort of rhetoric wrong, but it's dangerous and irresponsible because of what we're seeing vigilante people doing worldwide in Dover, New Zealand, and in other countries as well state islamophobia is also in the rise in india in france and in china Yo, kill me with this assalamu alaikum you guys have probably noticed a bit of an absence from me for the past two or three days it is just unfortunate that i came down with a heavy flu um but alhamdulillah i'm getting well um you guys can still probably hear my uh voice is not that 100 percent and i'm still a bit uh, stuffed up however alhamdulillah like i mentioned things are getting better um and of course we ask allah to grant you far to all those that are sick and unwell i mean so patrick big david is a wealthy entrepreneur and businessman also the host of the ppd and valuetainment youtube channels um he shows uh, touch on a variety of topics and issues including finance relationships uh, politics uh, not so much religion but of course religion pops up here and there um but you know islam is becoming a topic of discussion that so many people um can't avoid at the moment and I mean, figures like uh, Andrew Tate and Sneeko, who have recently converted to Islam, um, you know, obviously uh, boosts the amount of interest that takes place in terms of, you know, um, wanting to know about Islam and Muslims. And, um, you know, I think it is to be expected that uh, many people, I think, would hop onto this bandwagon of getting perspectives and insights uh, for views specifically. Uh, and then also there are some genuine um, sincere people wanting to know about Islam and Muslims. And I mean, uh, Patrick, uh, who recently met with Andrew Tate, um, who did an interview with Andrew Tate recently, uh, you know, shows that, you know, I think there is uh, obviously some views to, 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 to fish out. But uh, look, I, I, don't, I don't know if uh, Patrick himself is really genuine uh, or not. Um, I would say that he is uh, realizing and understanding that Islam has uh, something about it that's really uh, fascinating towards, or especially towards um, uh, combating this woke culture, right? Um, and I think he's seeing he's seeing the rise of Islam, especially now with this woke culture wars, uh, which he admits that um, uh, Christianity is lagging behind a bit, you know? Um, and he's on record saying that uh, Islam's messaging is more attractive. And so, um, you know, as Muslims, we don't disagree with this. Islam is really the uh, last holdout uh, to this clown world scenario, I said. Uh, nevertheless, I think the uh, analysis of a particular Imam Tom is spot on, and I'd hope for you to have a look. You know, some people who believe in this sort of idea of the great replacement or lesser versions of it, right, that it's like, you know, Muslims are threatening Western civilization because, you know, we're out reproducing them. And eventually the United States might become a Muslim country or Europe might become a Muslim peninsula. You know, these are sorts of uh, scare tactics, right? But they neglect the the metaphysical reality. They're only focused on a very, very narrow physical reality, like such as birth rates, population control, and these sorts of things. But what's more interesting and more significant is what's going on in people's hearts, right? So uh, people who are concerned about these things should ask themselves, why are people leaving Christianity? Even if all, you know, the nominally Christian people started reproducing at (laughs) much higher rates, right? It wouldn't help Christianity because Christianity metaphysically is getting, you know, 
figuratively speaking, slaughtered by the modern episteme of science and scientific knowledge and rationality and all these sorts of things, you know, much less set up to deal with Enlightenment reasoning and post-Enlightenment philosophy than Islam is. Um, and that has political historical reasons, like going back to the church and their sort of uh, antagonism with science and scientism uh, and scientific discovery, I should say, that Islam just doesn't have that baggage. Right. And so on one hand, you have to count for why are Christians leaving Christianity en masse, which is proven by data. And then why are people embracing Islam? That's the second thing that you have to uh, account for. And it's true. A lot of people point out that a lot of the gains that Islam makes when it comes to converts is offset by you know the people who leave Islam when coming to the secular West. And th that, is, that is true. However, it doesn't change the fact that a ton of people are converting to Islam. Uh, and you have to ask yourself why. And so rather than get fixated on the physical reality of, yeah, okay, well, I guess the strategy is to you know make more babies. Is that really what we're talking about here? What about finding out what's true? What, a, what about trying to interrogate why is this sort of theology not satisfactory to people? Why why is this institution, uh, and it's not just a monolith, but the idea of the church, so ambivalent to people? And why are people attracted and interested in Islam? That's the right question. I see you guys are enjoying my content, but you are not subscribed. Please consider subscribing and don't forget to like this video. Jazakallah. Yes, based on what I've seen from Patrick and his guests, uh, they are always talking about birth rates being the factor that causes the rise in Muslim populations, either globally or you know, in the West. But as Imam Tom points out, what about people's hearts? You know, what about the realization of Islam through other avenues like, you know, theology and rationality and so on? Um, you know, these are things Patrick and his guests don't really uh, talk about or don't get into. And I don't think they would dare to get into it, you know. Um, and, you know, is is it only the backlash to woke culture that um, Islam is this most attractive uh, aspect? Uh, of course not. I don't think so. In, in in places like Africa and Asia, where the woke culture wars are not yet, I think, as prevalent or not really affected that much, people are still taking their shahadas. People are still coming to Islam, you know? So, alhamdulillah. Oh my God. And on that note, guys, Jazakallah Khair for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, share, and if it is that you enjoy my content, definitely subscribe. Jazakallah Khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.